soon be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come. Done with one and on to another great matchup. What a night. Introducing first, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment, Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. The Hall of Famer, Beth Phoenix, a true pioneer. And her partner from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth. Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. And here we go, tag team action underway. And who's starting this one off for her team? The Queen of Hearts, 
Natalya. When I think of tag teams that can make a major okay. impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. Watching this match, I can't help but think how much pay-per-views have grown over the years. I mean, remember the ones back in the 1980s, which were great, don't get me wrong, but now they've really grown into such a major spectacle. What you're saying before, Byron, was spot on. WWE pay-per-views today really take over the entire city, and people travel from all over the world just to say they were a part of a WWE pay-per-view. Yeah, and I actually met fans from three different countries during breakfast earlier today. All of them were here in town specifically for this WWE pay-per-view. So much damage inflicted. Let's call it like it is, guys. It doesn't get much bigger than this. A featured match on a major WWE pay-per-view. This is huge for these superstars. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Corey noted earlier just how big this is for these superstars. This is why they choose to get into this business. This is why they spend those countless hours training a match on the big stage. And you can bet all the WWE hopefuls training in the Performance Center are watching this pay-per-view tonight, hoping it'll be them competing on a WWE pay-per-view in the very near future. Right in the mouth, bro. Oh. Having this pay-per-view here has to be a thrill for these fans. I can tell you that when Backlash came to Washington, D.C. in 2000, which wasn't all that far from me at the time, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing somebody talking about WWE coming to town. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. Man, I think we're seeing the end for Ruby Riot. And that Backlash 2000 car that Byron brought up earlier might have been the most chaotic main event we've ever seen between The Rock and Triple H. And in the end, it was The Rock defeating the game for the Beth Phoenix making her move. Ooh. She's back. We've got a cover. A kick out after one. I'm impressed. She's got her in her sights. Slam! The glam slam! Man, she knows how to got the shoulders down. A win like that says a lot about a duo. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here are your winners, Natalia and the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Another exciting tag team match in the books. These two girls make me think that we should have a women's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done? Wow. Just wow. I